Hey guys, it's Zara, and as you can tell by the title, I will be doing my bingo a -thon, TBR. So, sorry about the glare of the light, but if this light is not on, the lighting will be horrible. So, I, you're gonna have to deal with the light on my glasses. But anyways, so the bingo a -thon takes part from the 12th to the 18th of May, and I uh, completely forgot. But it started today, because today is the 12th, and it's like 6 in the morning, and I completely forgot to film this. Actually, that's a lie. I filmed it at like 5 in the morning, but then I realized there were some things wrong with the clip. So now I'm re-filming re re this video. So, yes. But anyways, so I printed off the bingo sheet. And there are three hosts for this readathon. We have... I'm sorry for pronunciation. It's for anything. Willa Quinn. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Cody's Book Corner and My Reading is Odd. And I will leave their... TBR videos down below and announcement videos because I'm not really going to go into much because I am bad at that so and just watch the host video yeah but there is a group book but I am not going to be reading that because um my library has orders on like they have orders and stuff for the book but there's like eight holds on the book and I just know I'm not going to get to it so yeah also if you can hear that I'm just scratching myself i'm really itchy so i'm not gonna be reading the group book uh what else i am so i am taking part in the asian readathon as well and one of the books that i am reading for this readathon as well i'm also reading for the re asian readathon so i'm gonna like double up on that and i will be vlogging but i'm just gonna combine my asian readathon vlog with this vlog because it's just a lot easier for me and it's like it'd be the exact same clips anyways just talk about two different books or whatever so yeah also i'm not really gonna go into anything about the books that i'm gonna talk about because i'm very bad at descriptions so if you want to know what the books are about just go click the goodreads links or most some of these i know i've been talked about on booktube already so you'll might have an idea of what these books are about so yeah let's just get into my tbr now Okay, so the first prompt is anticipated book, and for that one, I am going with Check Please, and I do not remember how to pronounce this author's name, but I think we know what this is about. It's a graphic novel, hockey, I think it's LGBT, and the art looks very pretty from what I've looked at from scanning through. We'll get this kind of what is, what's it about? So cannot wait to read this because I've heard very good things about this book so yes next is five star prediction and honestly this could be a five star prediction but I'm gonna go with surviving the city by Tasha Splet Spletti sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong and Natasha Donovan this is about indigenous women so I believe both authors are indigenous as well Natasha is from the Métis Nation of British Columbia and I don't know exactly if Tasha is part of a tribe. Like, it seems like she might be, but I don't know exactly, so I'm not going to say anything about that. But yeah, so this just follows these two uh, women who are from two different tribes, and they are best friends. One of them goes missing. I believe she runs away, and just, like, there's a lot of, like, conflicts that are going to be happening in this book. And I just really want to read more books about uh, indigenous people, so... This is a great thing. And I honestly never heard about this book until I just saw it at my library. And I'm like, why not? Like, I literally just looked over to the YA section. And I just saw this cover and I'm like, hmm, that looks interesting. So I picked it up. Next is favorite genre and that is graphic novels. So quite a f I think two of these are graphic novels. So honestly, they both can work. But I'm not going to show the other one because I'm using that for a different prompt. But Check Please is a graphic novel. So that one can work. So yeah. Next is Pink and or blue on the cover so i am choosing ghost in the closet by kathleen Catlin? kathleen i don't know uh griffin i believe this is supposed to be an author who's actually from my city so support local authors but know nothing about this but children's book and i figured why not it's short so why not so the next would be the group book which i'm not reading so i'm not going to count that next is diverse rep and quite a few of these can work but i'm going to choose dragon pearl by yu han lee this follows korean mythology and that's really all you need to know but yeah just sounds cool next is cover by and this one i also bought for the cover and because of the fact that it's about korean mythology korean mythology because i don't know if i've actually heard of another book that 
It's about Korean mythology or like stuff like that. So I really want to read this. So I'm going to read this one. And also this is the book that I uh, am reading for the Asian Readathon as well because the author is Korean, I believe. And this is about Korean mythology. So yeah. Next is a new to me author and I'm choosing Off Season by James Strum. I think that's how you say anything. Don't know a single thing about this book. The cover kind of intrigued me and the title, so I'm like, why not? And it's one of these, like, long graphic novels, which is really weird. So that also kind of intrigued me. But, I, I can't really. The first page I open has the word Hillary and Trump. This is going to already be interesting. Last is very new or old on your TBR, so I'm going to go, this is all library books except Dragon Pearl, that's my own book, but I just want to get done with my library books, so I'm choosing The Bookshop Girl by Sylvia Bishop. Don't know anything about this, but I just thought the cover was cute and the title was interesting, so why not? And this is new on my TBR, and obviously it's a children's book, so it's like, it's hold with like big font, and I think there's pictures? Maybe not? Damn, there's no pictures. Wait. Okay, yeah, there's like a little bit of pictures throughout it too, so yeah. So that was all of the prompts for the bingo a thon readathon. And honestly, if, if I finish any of these, all of these books, which I highly doubt will happen, like the graphic novels and the children's book, actually, you know what? I actually do think I could finish all of these except maybe Dragon Pearl. Cause I don't know if I'm in the mood to just like read a novel. I don't know why, but I just I'm always in the mood for graphic novels or comics, but not really in the mood for like a full length novel that doesn't have pictures. I don't know, but yeah. So here's my TBR, all messed up, but yeah. Hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to watch the uh, hosts' videos, and I hope you guys participate. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, bye, bros.